Hey, what's up, my Neeks? This is Nerds of the Square Table. I am Atomic Train. Chrono XF. JLN. Roberti. Robert. Okay, so anyways, guys, this is the part two of Before and After, and we just finished watching scary stories uh, to tell in the dark. In the dark. I can't pronounce the guy, the director's <laughs> name, but uh, it's he's, uh, he's Swedish, Swedish or something like that. But anyways, guys, uh, overall, did we enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't that bad. Like, it's actually pretty cool. A little so, above average. Yeah, a little bit above average. So when we came in, we were, we were expecting uh, about an average. So like a five or a six around there. Um, just because we wanted to play it safe, um, especially with us Money not knowing. Actors. Yeah, not knowing the actors, not knowing really who this director is. We wanted to play it safe by the trailer and everything. We were just like, ah, we're expecting a five. We're not really expecting anything over the top. However... Right now, this might surprise you guys. I am going to start it off mm -hmm. with giving this movie a 7 out of 10. So, it, it jumped up Whoa, about almost up. almost 2 points. So, about a 1.5 point. So, from yeah, from a 2 point, I mean from a 5.5 to a 7. So, right now that's my final. The reason why or the reason being is because the acting was pretty good. Like, they, yeah, they're not well-known actors, but you know what? They were pretty pretty good at their character. Um, the story-wise, the story was great. Like, was great, of course, like any other book or whatnot. Um, it is kind of sketchy. So, you know, putting it on the big screen and putting it in a production like this, it is pretty difficult. So, you know, difficulty factor was, was up there. And you know what? This movie actually delivered it. Um, I felt creeped out. I felt some scary portions some funny portions because it's just like why would you do that and it's like oh something's gonna happen right there oh you know and then but anyways uh movie scores was was on there um yeah basically this whole movie was was about a c so a seven that's all i have to say basically and i'll add in with with whatever they're they're gonna say but anyways that's me chrono xf What's so i went in with a five i'm gonna come out with a six Oh, yeah? So it's gonna go up one point. Uh, for me, it was an enjoyable movie. It it does have some creepy vibes to it, and the monster design is actually really cool. But then again, Guillermo del Toro did yeah. produce this movie, so yeah. the the monsters are on like Pan's Labyrinth type monster level. Yeah. So it's Good got mention. that vibe to it. It also pulls a lot from other scary stories like do you have an example i think you know if you like watched a lot of tv at night <laughs> <laughs> okay and, and phone calls about seven days <laughs> oh that's a hint guys <laughs> you're dying seven days okay so go. it pulls a lot from that movie if okay. you know what i'm talking about yeah like the the overarching stories along those lines so for me it was it was all right it's a good movie to watch especially if you read the books and you read the stories you'll you'll get into it uh there are funny parts and you'll probably laugh at them and the normal horror cliches are in there too yeah like why the hell would you why, why would you run into a space an enclosed space <laughs> <laughs> What and just be stuck what, there. What makes sense about that? Yeah. What's safe? <laughs> Why would what's, you go up? What, what's safe <laughs> about... Up? Why does everybody what, go up? <laughs> what's safe about running into a space and then while you're being chased by a ghost or you know that you're going to die or something? Why don't you just like, run you know, at the like, ghost? You already know you're yeah. going to die. <laughs> you already know you're going to die. Just challenge that bitch. Like, okay. Just take it out. It's like... I got it. I got the. <laughs> I got the thing. Yeah. <laughs> you want it back? <laughs> Here. Here you go. <laughs> See what happens. Yo, yeah, maybe they might leave you alone. Yeah. Any other thoughts? But yeah, um, standard hair, scary stories. Yeah. Standard, standard fare. If you like scary movies, it'll it'll give you chills. You might not want to to go to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or enter any red rooms. Yeah, that's true. And you know what? I give this movie kind of props because it is PG thirteen. And um, it they pulls, did. It pulls they it did, off. Yeah, it pulls it off. So even it's, though it's PG thirteen, so yeah. I didn't even have to go into the. That's what makes really good scary movies, though. Yeah. You know, when you can get the vibe, without actually having to like 
glorified thing. Or even jump scare. So we we never really seen as much jump scares. There as, were jump scares. Yeah, there were, Called but all of them. but it's not like <laughs> but, but it's not like but that's Annabelle. Not, that's not what you gets. Can't rely on. It's that's like, not what gets you. Scared. It's not like Annabelle though, or the Conjuring series. Like the Conjuring series just like went jump scare after jump scare after yeah. jump scare, and it just got super boring at the end. But this one, it, it just like how Gregatron said, it it's creeps a, up a, on you. It's a psychological scare, yeah. which is what made that other movie good. Yeah. But yeah. Six. All right, six. JLN, what's so, your thoughts? Um, I'm pretty uh, satisfied, I guess. I came in, what did I give it, a 5.5? Yeah. I think I'm gonna come out with a 6.5. Wow. Um, so it jumped one point. It didn't, I wasn't, you know, let down. Uh, although my expectations wasn't over the top this time. But uh, yeah, I mean. Wait, you weren't getting being this movie or nine? <laughs> you sure you're not giving this movie a nine? I wish. Yeah. Huh? Not this time. Okay. But your reasons are? Scare meter. Uh, not that scary. <laughs> not that scary. Boing. But hey, guess what? It did, you know, give me creepy vibes. It did, you know. Sometimes I was kind of like, ooh, this looks pretty nuts. Like when it came to like the, you know, it's scary stories, right? Ah. You know, when it came to that part. I if, would not want to be in that if you guys gonna watch, If you guys go to watch this movie, you will know that reference. So, but. So, when it came to, like, you know, it is called Scary Stories in the Dark. You read the book and whatever. So, when it came to the story time, it was creepy. It was creepy as hell. I mean, it's it looked pretty awesome, too. Yeah. How they did, like, the costumes and shit. And just to the situations these characters were put in, uh, Zoe. She stood out to me the most. She was like the main character, Stella. Yeah. And I think she, out of all the characters, obviously, I think she did her job because uh, she, yeah. I think she was the most interesting. Interesting. Yeah. And uh, her side kicks, side, side character, the side characters, uh, they helped. Obviously, a lot of them died. I don't know. Wait, wait. We don't know if they died. We don't know if they died, but I don't know. But No spoiler. We don't know, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was in 1968, so they did make reference to, like, Vietnam, and I guess they were trying to make a thing, like, connected to it, story, you know, this, uh, telling a story, but I don't know how they did it. Anyway. Fake news! No, so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what I was thinking was that, so this is you know, kind of like a little spoiler, but not really a spoiler. Um, so what I was thinking was that because it was during the time of war, yeah, like... What do you do during a time of war? You gotta remember, during war, there was a lot of comics that were coming out. A lot of stories were being told. Oh, they made references yeah. to the comics too. Oh, one. Yeah, thing. so one one reference, Which but but there's a lot of uh, things that are that are happening and in the world. So this is another like kind of like real reality thrown at in your face because when scary stuff happened around the world, yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes good content to. To come up with stories or something to get your mind active and get your mind out of out of war. See, I don't know yeah. why they so, put intertwine in here, but they did. Yeah. So I, I mean, it wasn't really like it was there, but yeah, I, they, it didn't really distract me from the serious, you know, scary stories in the dark. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, the, the story, the entire overarching story, it was okay. I think what just entertained me the most is just seeing what these. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. So Continue. I think what entertained me the most is just the individual stories that what happened to these certain people. Yeah. And you know, it, because it was in back then, it gave a little more creepier vibe. Yeah. Than if it was today. So, yeah, six point five. Um, I don't know if I, you guys should. I don't know. I, I don't wouldn't pay full price for this, to be honest. <laughs> I would but we have the pass, so god damn it. God damn it. Why not? But Why yeah, 6.5. 6.5. We, we, we can and do we it. And we, we, we did. It. Yeah. Okay. It feels like that you it? should watch this on like Netflix. <laughs> no, yeah. It, feel, it feels like, like a it's Netflix. It's a very netflix like, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it feels yeah. like a Netflix movie, um, but of course, it, it was not, it was actually pretty bad. Like but it's based on Netflix type material. Yeah. So, yeah. So it, it's actually some pretty good that's stuff. That's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's not bad. It's totally naked. Yeah. Okay, bye, truck. Okay. Anyways, that's it. Okay, rubber toe. Next.
What's your thoughts? Yeah, let's see. Overall, let's see where I start. Well, at least I know it's better than the last Goosebump movie I saw. It's pretty good. <laughs> but then again, you know, look for the Goosebump series, I guess it depends the target crowd. And this one I felt like was upper, which it delivered that part because I went in there with, with this movie about a six. And I'm gonna get out of this movie. It's tough because I got I was thinking between six point five and seven in between that range. Six point eight. Yeah, six probably 6.8. 6.8, I guess. 6.75. Or 6.895 or something like that. No, yeah. I'm kidding. But it was somewhere between that 6.5. <laughs> <laughs> Repeating 6. But in general, yeah, I was pretty Such impressed with this movie. Yeah. I mean, you know, for what it was and, you know, the time period and things about books because I was already watching things on about cursed books and things that you should not read and stuff. And this should be added on that list of should books not to read. <laughs> Not yeah. to read list, not to find, not to touch, not to serve. Some of that other stuff. Not but, yeah. to read books from creepy old houses. Yeah. <laughs> it's, too, it's crazy to know. You see a house. In hidden locked yes. rooms. Yes. Yeah, especially yeah. when the thing is locked. You're digging for that. Damn. Yeah, there is locked. Yes. The house is locked. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but the house is already locked. You, you should know to stay away, but I guess, I don't know, man. People are just too curious. Curiosity kills sometimes, I guess. Yeah. In that sense. Damn. Dora. Damn, yeah, doors. Dora. <laughs> doors, more yeah, like. Trouble. Doors, yeah. Yeah. But so. yeah, like I said, I'm going to go between that 6.5, 7, 6.8, who knows, around there. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. You know what? It's better than fucking Annabelle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. It was. Like, yeah, no. That, that's, what, that's what I was saying. Like, it's it was a little year, bit better. Talking about this year, yeah, this Apple year. Yeah, so like this year we had a lot of jump scary uh, stories that was and, that we watched. And not very good. And not scary so very. Movies. Yeah, not so very good. Chucky, you know, like Jeez. yeah, it wasn't that bad. So you this guys think was better than Chucky. Oh, oh, oh yeah, hell so yeah. yeah, hell yeah. yeah. This is so much better. But Chucky was never ever like a scary creepy <laughs> movie. Yeah, but I mean the first one was kind of creepy. Mm. No, but still, yeah, like it, it. There, there was no wow factor with Chucky. Maybe this one was a wow factor more because we didn't really know what to expect. You know, especially with the trailer. Like we're just going off of what the trailer showed us, and yeah, yeah it, it, it gave a creepy. Good. Yeah, it, it, it gave a creepy vibe, but it just didn't show like what. What to like, really? Yeah, where? Like yeah, what to really expect? It so felt kind of like unique a little bit. Yeah, just exactly. What happened to these yeah. It's like not the same thing going on for every person. Yeah, so that's what kind of gave it so you know a little more interesting. And each yeah, person probably. had a connection to their story. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like the story was about them. Yeah. yeah. So it was Personal. that's what that's what made it unique. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. So and then before earlier, we were, I was just mentioning to them like it, it's pretty unique. This movie is unique in a way because it tells a story from a book and like how I was telling them like you know before storytelling like through a book it's kind of like how like you know the I guess the superstition of people taking photographs of each other and whatnot and then it's like the photographs you know captures a soul so it's in in this of course we have a book and yeah it's it's pretty interesting how it unfolds and how it's there's connection you know like how Greg Chan brought up with these people and these stories so anyways yeah any final thoughts guys that's pretty much it scary stories tell in the dark so yeah tell those scary stories yeah. <laughs> in the dark in the dark <laughs> yeah so go ahead and check this movie out i would say check this movie out jalen says not to but i'd say go check this movie out if you guys want it i don't we'll <laughs> check it out when it comes to him or or I think. Oh, rigo doesn't pay us rigo doesn't pay us to say this rigo doesn't pay us to say this Go get the pass. <laughs> go and get the pass. We're saying this. Go get the pass. If you guys want to watch movies and you guys love movies, it's actually a good deal. We already made our money's worth know, was, with like with just a week. With, within worth. a week. Yeah. We made our money's worth. And right now, we're continuing to do the same because uh, this weekend, we're going to be watching... Um, which one? Racing in the rain. Yeah. Art of Racing in the Art of Racing in the Rain. Well, the two of us will get... And then the you two are going to get the kitchen. Yeah. So, you know, we're already making our movie, our, our money back, so pretty good um yeah and that's it so that's all for this video guys shoot right. tune back in for the next video peace, peace. shoots my badass thanks my neeks <laughs>